right? So guys, um, I need to first like stress the importance of watching all the Zoom sessions, you know? Like you can't be like skipping through the Zoom session, Zoom sessions, you know? You need to watch, like if you haven't watched the first one, you need to literally watch the first one up until this one, you know? So, you know, it's like reading a textbook, you won't read a textbook for school, like halfway through the textbook, you'll just open the textbook and then start reading from page 85. Of course, you're going to be lost and confused. You know, you need to start from page one. So same applies for the Zoom sessions, right? So in the Zoom sessions, I'm taught how to set take profits, how to set step, stop loss, how to deal with emotions, how to draw trend lines, um, I've even I even drew the st- basic structure for trend lines. All of this is from Zoom O one up until Zoom. I think this is Zoom O eight now. Yeah, but Zoom O two is a session that I could that I would consider for beginners. You know. So yeah, and yeah, unfortunately, there is no other way around it. You know, um, like in terms of the Zooms, right? Like. Once you get to 100 people, the room closes, it's become, it becomes full. So the session, yeah, so we can't accept more people, right? So that's why I record the sessions and post them um, on the group, right? So guys, yeah, so right now, um, I just want to look at NASDAQ, right? This thing has been pretty much funny, guys, ever since Trump left the office, you know, it's not the same. Right. So let me just dig deep. Let me just dig straight into my NASDAQ. Let's just, let me just dig deep into NASDAQ and analyze it. You know, we have our famous trend lines. Right. So you can see that yeah, we have a first such, second such. I just zoom in a bit, sorry. Zoom in a bit. Okay, perfect. First such, second such. Third touch, right? So just the third touch, straight after the third touch of the trend line, you can see the NASDAQ dropped, right? Overall, what are we looking for? Overall, I'm expecting NASDAQ to drop all the way back down to this trend line, right? See how it reacts. If it just picks, I'm expecting NASDAQ to carry on pushing up, right? As you can see, this is our upper trend line. You can see we have a first touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, right? So we can anticipate the fifth touch. But this is daily, right? You don't want to just stop looking. You, know, you just don't want to end on daily time frame, you know, because you're literally going to wait weeks and everything for um a trade, right? So we basically have our structure drawn in, right? So next thing we're going to focus on is this bit of data, yeah, right? You can actually see that we have lows right here, you know? So this is a sign that we could actually, in fact, connect a trend line like that right but it's all going to be clear on a smaller time frame I right, so remember guys it's important to zoom out it is important to zoom out zooming out helps you being caught on the wrong side of the market zooming out helps you see things much clearer you know so there's nothing wrong with zooming out as you can see i'm even zoomed out right now so i'm looking for these lows you know the significant lows right and actually they are correct well, let me not say the archery because there is no right and wrong, you know. But these ones do look in our favor, right? So you can see that we have this upward trend line here. So basic rule, what are we expecting? Expecting NAS. Okay, obviously NAS will push off our trend line, right? And once it goes up, it needs to retrace back down to our trend line. Um, see how it reacts. If it just picks, then we can anticipate it to carry on going up, you know. However, if it closes below, um, then we can anticipate salts and enter on the retest, you know, stuff like that, guys. So let me just delete this. Still can dig deeper into the market, right? So now we're on H4, guys. So we look at, so now we look at um, putting in our zones, right? Because the market nowadays, guys, is moving in zones. So you can see, this is actually like a head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, our left shoulder, head, right shoulder, 
That's why Nasdaq pretty much dropped. Right? Okay, cool. You can also see that it's all about just looking to your left, guys. You can also see that we can draw in a zone over here. Yeah. So that's why NASDAQ is pretty much moving up right now. It is because of this recent high, right? So basically resistance broke out. Now so resistance turned into support. You can pretty much see. You can pretty much see that, right? And we're still on H4, guys. So, so far, okay, well, it obviously is late now, but my bad. Sorry, I entered the wrong one. We can pretty much see that NASDAQ is going to continue going up to this zone over here. Right, let me just zoom in so it's clear. Yeah. NASDAQ is going to pretty much continue going up to this zone over here. Reason being is because this previous high, or let me say this zone actually, is being respected, right? However, right now it is too late to execute buys. What we can actually do is we can wait to see how NASDAQ reacts to the zone over here. Right? Let's try, let me try to draw in my trend line. I see these highs aren't, aren't nice. See from there. So it's all choppy. But yeah, this could come because you can see the other day, this kind of thick did close below the trend line. So first such, second such. So in fact, this was, so yeah, this is actually a good trade. Um, this was the third such of the trade line. And also it was, um, NASDAQ respected the zone over here. So the zone was respected and the trade line was respected, right? So we can actually, as I said, expect NASDAQ to continue going up, right? Possibly like wick um, above the trend line to such the zone. And then we can expect sales, right? But we're not protecting the markets. We're gonna trade what we see, right? So let's just wait and see how NAS reacts to this zone over here. If this zone is respected, then we can execute sales. If it's broken, then we'll have to wait on the retest, right? Meaning that I have to close above, then retest. This is our retest, yeah, right? When it retests, when it touches um, a broken zone. Right. And this is all on H4, guys. See the importance of studying analysis on a bigger time frame. Simplicity is key. You know, never um, complicate your trades. Really never complicate your trades. So yeah, NASDAQ, I'm pretty much going to wait for it to move off that zone. I'm trying to See something, yeah. yeah it's invalid because it's actually broken. I said, I don't want to mess up the analysis, but yeah, you see this zone here. Let's wait and see how nice we actually this zone. It's pretty, like it's, it, it'll be, I wouldn't say stupid, but it, it wouldn't be the best trade. It wouldn't be advisable to now enter buys. Yes, we know that NAS is going to shoot up, but entry point, guys, entry point is far. We are far from the, um, we are far from like the zone, guys. You don't want to enter, you don't want to run into the freeway while traffic is moving fast, you know? You'll prefer to cross the freeway when there's no traffic, you know? Stuff like that. Hope that makes sense. Guys, you rather catch the movements, you rather catch the reversal, right? When it happens, not while it's happening. Right. So that's my NASDAQ analysis. I wanna see how it reacts to that zone. Possibly drop down. So yeah, did you guys let me look at the chats? Let me know what you guys think about that. Did you guys get that? Let's leave a a yeah or a no proper. You know, like there isn't really <clears throat> anything else to it. There's not that much else to it, you know. Because it never complicates your analysis. 
als Papa. There isn't really much else to it, you know. There isn't like, I don't see any other way to look at it. Ish, my bad. But that's, okay, let's go to US 30 ish. Now, this one went against us last week. Let me actually, wait, did I? I just want to look at the group quick, sorry. What time frame was that? It was an H1. I just want to quickly explain that trade that went against us. Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Yep, I remember this, yeah. Okay, let me just delete all this, guys. I just want to quickly explain the US 30 trade that went against us. This one blew out of my account, but it's part of the game. You know, the best traders know that um, losses are part of the game. They're literally inevitable. inevitable. Right, so this is my US 30 analysis, as you can see. <coughs> I, draw in, I, I drew in a zone on uh, previous supports, you can see our uh, first bottom, second bottom, third bottom. As you can see that this zone was actually pretty powerful, right? So that zone actually been pretty powerful. The fact that um, US 30, US 30 was able, market price was able, was able to break below the zone, right? Which kind of shows something, you know? It's, it's, I was actually, guys, to not drag, right? You can see that we have a breakout, right? And my trade got the best and retest. Simple breakouts and retest. Previous support, 22 resistance. As you can see, this blue drawing thingy that I put in. Right? So, with that being said, yeah, and I don't have a trend on second. I'm just looking at it on the group. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this. Right, yeah, I was looking at this, guys. So once I saw this candlestick, this reversal candlestick, I'm just going to make it nice and clear. Once I saw this reversal candlestick, hey. yeah, once I saw this reversal candlestick, guys, this is enough confirmation for me to sell US dirty, guys. Simple breakouts and retest. Right, simple breakouts, retest, but retest. Um, phase one. So this was my. This was my actually, yeah. Keep down, yeah. No, actually, to the there's an upward trend line here that I had drawn in as from this low. So let me just delete this one. Right, so this is the chart. Right, saw so still on momentum. Saw so some, so some. I saw some uh, reversal. So okay, simple breakouts retest. You can pretty much see that it actually shut down. And this can, this movement actually happened very very fast. The minute I sent the chart to the group, the candlestick just dropped. Right, meaning that a lot of people, including me, entered like just about over here. Right. Right over here, because I only saw minor blues right before being taken out. Right, so these type of trades, guys, like we did nothing wrong, just the market doing its thing, right? Because we saw simple um, breakouts and resets, previous supports, so the two resistance, we got a candlestick, you know, what else? Simple tests, those are the things that we look for. You know, you can see that there was a reversal, slow down, moment, slow down in momentum, stuff like that, you know, but unfortunately. Um, the market went against us, against us, and that's fine because the best traders know that not every single setup is a winning setup, you know. Um, yeah. Let me look at the chat. Did you guys get that? You know, so like, everyone was like, most people are like, oh, but did Because it's actually like one of the first major losses that were taken in the group in a very long time. As everyone was like, oh. What went wrong? I'm like, how oh, guys, I saw a setup, the same I executed, 
market just didn't obey, you know. That there's really nothing else to it. Guys. But now, do you guys understand that before I carry on? Do you guys understand it? To execute on a reversal candlestick, yeah. You need to know your reversal candlesticks. You need to know how to read candles. Look at momentum. Oh, a lot of things. It's in that Bible. Yeah. It's in that Bible. That candlestick Bible book. Yeah, proper, proper. I think the New York session open played a role in messing up our setup because it should have taken on to see what should take on that. As you know, that we full. Well, I'm a full technical trader. When fundamentals happen, you know, we usually like hope most of the times they boost us. Sometimes they go against us, you know. I'm looking at US 30 now. Let me actually go straight to daily and just analyze this thing quick. Okay. You can still see, you can see actually a double bottom. Okay. Wait, wait, someone's calling. One second, sorry about that. So, US 30 daily time frame, you can actually see that we have a lot of, this is actually a powerful, powerful zone over here. You know, let's draw it in like that. Right? Many people will be like, oh, can't we draw in a trend line? See, it's not as clean. It's not that nice, clean, one, two, one, two, three, you know? So I disregard this trend line. Disregard Try from here. Okay, you can see that we have one, two, you know, but I don't want to keep this trend line in because you can see current market price is extremely far. This is daily, daily example. Current market price is extremely far from the trend line, you know. So I delete it, but in our mind, it's in there, you know. We've already put it in our minds. All right, you do this, guys, just to um, avoid having a messy chart. But there's a thing I hate more than a messy chance. So you can see that here is a lot of buying sensitivity here. Every time the market came down to the zone, expected buys. It's actually a turning point, right? So next thing, we pretty much want to look at our highs now. It's actually my first time looking. So you can see US 30 respected this high. Which one? So something like that. I'm just going to H4. So make it clear. You can pretty much see. Can we draw an upward trend line there? Let me see. Yeah. It was a bit shaky, but yeah. First such, second. Third foot, yeah, yeah. As so, you see if I can draw an upward trend line. It's too steep. We don't really like the steep trend lines, but the steep trend lines aren't really as powerful, right? So, guys, looking at your let's see. I just want to draw this one and to see if there's okay now. No. <laughs> Pretty much looking at just 30 rats, you can see that this sun over here is extremely powerful. This sun over here. Every, every time the market got to this sun, it failed to break above. In fact, it reversed, you know? So you can pretty much see that we would have had a lot of entry points here. Let me just zoom in. Over here, over here, you know? So basically now, this is an ascending, oh wait, yeah, ascending triangle, the lows are going into resistance, right? So this type of pattern, guys, is a bearish 
the visual pattern. But we don't want to just enter the market blindly now. Guys. We want to wait for breakouts of this um, trend line. It's two setups. We want to wait for the breakout of this trend line. Or we want to wait for this trend line to be obeyed. Right? To retrace to the zone. Once it retraces to the zone again, then we can anticipate a, mass, a massive drop. Right? So that's my output. That's my outlook on US 30. There really isn't much to it. You know, I trade what you see, you know what you think. There isn't really much. Okay, I see resistance here. Yeah, proper. Do the two things. Trade line will be broken, ends on the retest, or um, market will retrace. Market will respect our trade line to retrace to the zone. Let me just zoom in, sorry. Market will retrace to the zone. For the south, yeah, sorry. One second. So yeah, guys, this thing now is running out of time, right? I will be providing more setups throughout the week. Um, obviously, I have a couple setups that I'm monitoring, and I'll send out once they are ready, once they played out, so once you got in confirmation to enter. Um, yeah. So, guys, I just... Can you move to the chat? To execute. Okay. Yeah. So, that's... That's it for the live... <laughs> that's it for the, today's live session. I'm actually... Yeah. I, I tried looking into upgrading to the the, the, the premium or platinum or whatever. We look at gold. Yeah, I can sneak gold in before we run out of time. But I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna start from the beginning because of the time. This is gold. Okay, I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send it on the group. I'm sending on the group because time. I think it's just gonna stop the recording. But calls are basically waiting for major buys. Major buys on the sun over here, guys. So, guys, that's it for today's Zoom session. I'm gonna be sending um setups throughout the group. They are actually proper setups that I'm waiting for. Um, just waiting for them to play out. Get confirmation to enter and yeah, execute, guys. So. Yeah, did you guys find the thing informative? Or, yeah, let me just take a video of this. So yeah, I'm gonna be providing setups and updates throughout the week. Online session. Uh, vibes, online session. Online session. Online session, you know the vibes. Happy, nice session. Are we? You know the vibes. So yeah, guys. Sorry for the delay. Sorry for postponing. Shout out, guys. And let's kill. Honestly, struggle with keeping it simple. Keep it simple, but there's nothing else to it. Shout out, guys. Let's go. Let's wait for the setups. And you're all the best, guys. All the best. All the best. All the best. Never be scared to open that. Never be scared to open a trade because that trade will actually be the one. <laughs>